sad. Come on. Come on. I don't care about Mother of the Match Awards. I don't, I don't give a damn. I know when I see the real sad. And the real sad hasn't fully shown up. We, we've seen hints. We've seen hints. We haven't seen the full sad show. Real Madrid. Do you realize that you have a great chance, a great opportunity to win La La Liga? There's a dude called Ernesto. That's what I'm going to say. Because not so much of said. There's a dude called Ernesto. That's his name. That's what he's told him. I'm going to name that boy who his first name Ernesto. Okay? There's a dude called Ernesto. Because Ramadan's record in Europe is still that's amazing. Three sales in a row. Wow. But it is embarrassing that the theme of Real Madrid stature, Real Madrid, Real Madrid, shh, of the stature, your record domestically is awful. As people say, you have to have that domestic Lara Croft and then say what's up in your. But look, I've always said, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm a champion of merchant. I'm a, I'm a proud CL merchant. I've got the budget and everything. I'm a proud CL merchant. So that's always the biggest trophy. But, but, but. Real Madrid are big enough to win all their trophies and they should have won much more La Liga titles. And I think this is a great opportunity for them to win it because I think Barcelona are going to struggle this season. They're going to continue to, to, to struggle because as much as they are trying to be reliant on Messi, it's going to be problematic for these boys. So I implore them, you know, I say to them, guys, 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 you have to, you simply must be focused and continue winning this game. So this is a tough game. This is a talk, and they're up against Sol, their dad, and the, the gap is two points. It is very close at the top because Barca and Real Madrid have not really been their consistent selves, so it is very, very close in the La Liga table. I still think it's going to stretch, but as of right now, wow, I didn't know that the, 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 the points gap would be so minimal. So it's two points that separate Sol, so their dad, and Real Madrid, and Sol, their dad are always a very tricky team to play, and they've always been a very tricky team both for Barca and for Real Madrid, Real Madrid as well. So. And, but I think, you know, for Real Madrid, it is very important that they have the right setup. So let's just look at how I feel for this game in particular, and again, moving forward, but for this um, game um, in particular against so, so that how I feel that Real Madrid should set up from your boy, HH. All right, so yeah, um, Real Madrid, this is the side I think they're going to be set up against Sofia Dad, and I think I've got a few issues here, a few issues here. So as so well now. Coutoir, well, he's been playing a bit better now. Ramos and your boy Varane. Varane, I'm, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. You know, Ramos definitely has to coach your boy Varane. Your boy Danny Caval, who I think needs to improve his quality. They're going to go with, with, with Mendy. I'm not a fan of Mendy. Mendy will never be able to lace the shoelaces or even be allowed in the crib that Marcelo uses the toilet in. But I think he's going to play. And I think that. As much as Mendy still needs to get better moving the ball forward and, be, and being better and have better ball, con ball control and concentration on the ball, I do think that he's much better defensively and he adds much more se se security. For that defensive security, I think Mendy is definitely superior to Marcel in that, in that re regard. So going obviously, Casemiro, Cruz, Valveda. So really, I think Valverde has really held this, this game down. And I think for Modric, I think Modric has definitely been, is no more of more of a... Um, bench player, you know, I think if everyone is fit, I do feel Valverde gets that nod ahead of your boy Drich, you know, so it is what it is. Hazard, Rod Rodrigo, don't you don't you even talk to me about your boy Vinicius, man. I don't want to hear that boy's name. That boy, guy is in class C, class C, and then boy Benzema. So I think, you know, what Real Madrid's issue will be here is this space here. This is going to be an issue here, and I think... Um, see, in Cruz and Valverde, these are natural central mid midfielders. They're not very adept in a position here, you know. And I do feel that without a James Rodriguez or an Isco, you're going to be seeing lots of this. Lots of this. And, and you don't really want to be, be, be seeing this. You want to be seeing this sometimes, but really you want to be seeing him in here so that your boy Rodrigo thingy can get that ball into him over there. But I think even more so... B b what will, what this now means is as much as Mendy and Danny will be, will be coming up, you need your boy Hazard to come in and you need them to be much more diagonal. 
rather than trying to hog the touch line, I think you really want far more movement from them to really occupy this space as of, as, as of here, you know. And, you know, um, for Ramos and for Varane, they're going to be, they have to be very key because 100% Ramos, they will definitely want to take the game to Seoul Theater. That, that's how they always want to do. But as much as they want to take the game to them, um, it is very important, very wary that um, they worry about what, what what's happening up in there. Because if we have a situation here like this, you know, all men move forward here. They're right up in there, in there, you know. One ball over the top. We know that Varane is quick and everything, but you cannot keep on relying on your speed and on, on your pace to um, rectify positional mistakes that you make. So it's going to be very important that Ramos, Varane and Casemiro, who has a crucial role, are very aware of Sotia Dad trying to get a break because Sotia Dad, that is going to be their tactic. They know that they're going to absorb pressure. But when they get the ball, you know, they have the technical La Liga skill to weave their way through intelligently and try and find that ball over the top for a one-on-one on Kutua, who I still think is very, very dodgy. But as I said again, I think it's very important for a Hazard and a Rodrigo to bunch up and help Benzema and decrease the gap between Benzema and these two cats. So yeah, look, that's, that's how I think that they should roll. That's, that's how I think that they should really execute themselves and hopefully they will. Now let's look at particular players, man. Um, look, we've got to bring that to your boy Hazard. Hazard is, is, is going to be very important. You were brought in here as a superstar player. You were brought in here as the difference maker. You're going to have to accept that. I don't want to see Hazard. Eden Hazard is that dude that defends like, Oh, no, you can have it. No, no, you know, it's fine. You'll have it. No, no, you can take it. No, 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 no. Grab it by the balls. I mean, what's, what's, what, what was that really famous saying? Grab life by the balls. Grab life by the balls. By the ball sack. By the ball sack. So, you've got to... Hazard has got to... Uh, Zad. Zad has got to be forceful. He's got to impose himself on, upon the game and show that he's about that life and he's that dude. Gotta show that he's that dude. You know, stop being... You know, see, man, what the hell? Hmm. So he's got to stand up and he's got to want to move the ball forward. He's got to try to drive in, in, into the box because I'll tell this right now, Rod Rodrigo is looking more like a Zad than flipping Zad himself. Benzema, bro, I mean, I'm shocked. Benzema right now as we speak, he is tier two. This guy who I thought would live in the Brick Academy for the rest of his life, who I thought was a scholar at one point, no, was a scholar at one point, he is now sitting right now at tier two, knocking on the door of upper tier two of the flipping rankings, which is flipping amazing. Um, and he's going to be, he, yet again, he's having a super season. And I've, I'm actually very impressed with what he did last season. Although I, I think those numbers were inflated, because don't trust Wikipedia. But what he's been doing this season, he's been getting G's, man. He's been getting G's in the NCL. He's been getting G's in the league as well. I want to see what he does against PSG. That's a massive game. Chill, relax. I'm going to preview that one as well. So again, for Benzema being the captain of the side, well, well, not captain, it's, it's Ramos, but he's, he's like vice captain, but one of the spiritual leaders of the side. He's obviously going to be the ball playing striker. He's going to come in, link play, bring in a Rodrigo, bring in a Zach. But I think it's very important for Benzema that you've got to make, you're able to strike the balance of, yes, being a ball playing striker, play around, get the ball to face, but you've got to be in the box. You've got to be in the box, got to get that cheddar, got to put those balls away. And I think if Benzema is potent, he is linking play, but he's inside the box, making those key runs that a Rodrigo and a, and a Zad can get in the supply to, then I think he's going to ride. I think I think he's going to run. I think he's going to say, what's, what's up, man? Um, Cas Casemiro is always key. Casemiro is always key. Casemiro is always a flipping, flipping key dude. And I think, I think Casemiro has been very underrated. Casemiro has been very underrated this, this, this season. And I think he has really, really... Um, I mean... Because people talk about Fabinho, I still feel Fabinho is the best um, in his position. But I believe that Casemiro is actually doing more than just being a DM. I think Casemiro is probably doing his job and Tony Cruz's job as well. So he's stopping play, protecting defense, and he's making amazing passes, and he's, he's keeping the ball well, and he's driving forward with the ball, and actually doing the good central bit for the walk. So Casemiro has been very key. And yet again, Solomon, mid midfield is a heart and nucleus of the team. He's going to be super, super, very, very important indeed. And, I, and you've got to look at Ramos, man. Um, I've been up and down with Ramos right now. I think Ramos is, is, is probably playing at, at a tier 3 right now. Tier 3, maybe upper tier 3, maybe a tier 3 right now. He, you are the face of the Real Madrid. You're the face of Real Madrid. And 
those runs that Real Madrid had in the CL, Ramos was money. If Ramos isn't money, Real will suffer. Real are an attacking team, which means that there's going to be some ISO one-on-one -on -one defending that will have to, to be done. I still don't trust Varane as a defender. Varane works better in a defensive system. So Ramos's job has been to carry your boy um, Varane, which is why Real Madrid are looking to get Martin Skriniar because they now know that that central defensive position is problematic and they need a guy who is confident defending as an individual. And Ramos is quality. It's probably one of the best right now, one-on-one -on -one defending, under pressure defending, counter-attack defending because of his speed and excellent reading of the game and his tackling. But for Ramos, for the player at a high level, bro, because if you, your level drops, that is where these teams can come in and a so that they can come in and get a sneaky win. Take this all things into account. Um, I'm going to say 2-1 to Real. I, th I think Real can escape with, with a 2-1 win. Maybe I was going to say 1-1. But I think they can escape, perhaps, maybe, probably, with just like a 2-1 a win. Um, but remember, guys, remember to like the vid. Remember to subscribe if you're new. I will be posting my post match immediately after the flipping game. And to support this channel, this analysis channel, myself, HH, in the link below in the description box, become a partner by clicking the link down in there. I'll see you, baby. Zan, your ass better show up. Support your boy, HH, and become a patron. Click in the description box below and gain extra content based on the tier of patronage you acquire. Click on the description box below to learn more. Thanks for your support. Peace out.